All right, today I am unboxing a battery UPS. So what is that? Some of y'all might want to know. Uninterruptible power supply. This one is made by APC. And the purpose of this is, well, basically my server just shuts down randomly and it's because of power fluctuations. I'm constantly um, losing power momentarily for like a split second. Um, and what that causes is my computer is shut down and my server as well, they shut down, but I don't always know what happens. And I'll be thinking that my server's running for days sometimes and realize, oh, it it's restarted, it's, it's shut off. And um, so this is to prevent that. This uh, will supply 164 minutes of runtime for a PC um, as it's rated for 900 watts and yeah, so basically this is a surge protector uh, on steroids. Uh, it has batteries in there. So basically what this will do is power comes in to your house. It uh, converts that AC to DC into a battery bank. And then that power is drawn from those batteries and reconverted back to AC, 120 volts for your computer. So it maintains 120 volts AC no matter what no matter what the power company is giving you if it's sending you spikes or low voltage this will level it out and that's this is called an online um, UPS there's something called line UPS which is usually a lot cheaper and that only kicks on in the event of a power outage which is still useful for say your router you might want to get something for that so you would have internet access even in a power outage uh, this one isn't the most bestest one. Uh, there's one it's called a uh, backup UPS sine wave. So it, it removes some sort of harmonic noise, basically. So like the the, the electrical signal is a, a sine wave, and sometimes it's not perfect, and so it will it really goes into finer control of the electricity. This one does a fairly good job, as far as I know, and um, uh, basically, it will keep the power um, at a certain level, and yeah, so your PC is going to run better. It's it, if you've spent a lot, which I have. I have a, a, a what do I have? Thirteen. I have a thirteen nine hundred K in my computer, as well as a. 40, uh, 70. It's not the best graphics card, but I spent a lot of money on there. It's like over like three grand in that computer. And, um, then in the server as well. So I kind of want to protect it and I want to make sure that's always running. Uh, eventually I'm going to get another one of these for my router. That's in another, it's in the downstairs area. And, um, That'll allow me to have internet access if the power to go out for, let's say, an hour or something or a few minutes. I would still have internet. I wouldn't have to reset the router. And uh, yeah, it has 164 minutes of runtime for PC loads, 900 watts, and 1500 volt amperage. Volt amperage, I think. Uh, this comes with a three year warranty. Uh, it has network and coax surge protection, uh, USB data port, cable in, cable out, so you can have power for that, or maybe it will level out the power, I don't know. And then it has two different uh, surge protectors. One is just a regular surge protector, uh, and then this one is battery backup. So this is what you would put your PC on and you might put other items onto the regular surge protector but this is where you're gonna get that battery backup um, yeah I had decent reviews on Amazon so basically uh, yeah this will be really cool I think or useful anyway we're gonna open it up Ooh, it's a little, it's not as big as I thought. I'd be 
Oh, it'll be a bit bigger. Here's a, what is this? USB and a, looks like an ethernet cord of some sort. Uh, this is the, this is a USB data port. I don't know how that works. I'm not that tech savvy, so I'm not gonna be using that. I don't know why you need a USB data port, but somebody knows. That's not why I got this, I got this. So my PC never has to shut off. That's why, or the server. Okay, that's that's not bad looking. It's not it's not gonna take up that much space. The way it looked in the picture, it looked like this big bulky thing, like almost the size of my PC. What the heck is this a receipt? What the hell? Time, model number. Oh, that's cool. This shows uh, the test procedures and that it passed pass all its quality assurance tests. So that's cool, that's that's right there. I'm telling you it, it's, it's gone through all these little tests, uh, visual inspection, wire polarity, cold boot uh, verification, on battery signal, A put, AC input verification. It goes on, there's like 20 things that had to go through, 40 things, I don't know. But yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna test this thing out. I'm gonna basically, what I'm gonna do is let it charge up, cause it's probably gotta charge these batteries up, I assume, that are in here. Cause this just has batteries in it. It's just a little battery bank. And then back here you plug in, uh, well, what's this say? Connect battery stop halt. So the battery does not come connected. So it has this little red label on top. I don't know, flip it 180 degrees, green label on top, and then he put it back in there. So, okay, what just fell, all right. Okay, right here. Ah, there we go. So it has two little clips right here. You lift it up, okay. And it says pull, connect battery, lift and pull tabs, remove battery, turn over. So I think it wants you to grab these tabs. Oh, that's a big boy. All right, that's it right there. That's a huge chunky boy right there. And so it wants you to flip it over and shove her in. Uh, so yeah, this thing comes, you can buy replaceable batteries for this in the event that these uh, go bad, which batteries do eventually go bad. So green side up has a little arrows, insert this away. So wait, flip it, put it back in. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that really snapped in there. <laughs> okay, well that's in there, I think. Feels good. All right, put this back on. All right, should be good to go. And now I just have to test it. I'm gonna let it run for a little while with it connected. Make sure the batteries, it has a little indicator on here. In fact, let's plug it in. So now that it's plugged in, I guess you have to power it on. Ooh, okay. So it's getting 123 volts in. So that lets me know estimated runtime of minutes, 600 minutes right now. So 
it's got a full battery. It came with a full battery. Um, but yeah, it's letting me know that right now I'm getting in 123 volts. So I'm actually getting more volts than what I'm supposed to be getting. So this should knock it down to 120. Let me uh, shut down my computer. Plug it into the battery backup side. Now it's in. Online. So I don't know why you have to hit this power button. I feel like it should always be powered on. What is this? An event estimated time run time in minutes. Load zero watts. Load 0%, out 123, out in. See, it's so it's not currently regulating. All right, now it's got a load. All right, this little bar has gone up. So the computer's gonna boot up. Let's see what happens. Event. Estimated runtime 130, 143. So I'm using 102 watts right now, 75 watts. That's pretty cool that it, it tells me all this stuff so I can see exactly what I'm using in watts. So if anything, that's, that's something. Uh, load 4%. Sixty hertz output input. It's made a runtime load. Yeah, so it's putting out 123 volts, which I think is weird. It should be 120, but maybe I just don't know things about electricity. Maybe it's supposed to be 120 or 123, and just like we're told 120, and it's really 123. I don't know. Uh. Okay, server is going. Let me get, or not yet. Let's see. Let's get her going. I probably need to update it. All right, let's see what happens to the voltage. The watts. So it's not using that many watts. It's uh, 110, 100. I'm sitting at 50. No, oh, that's pretty uh, pretty low server. I'm only using 40 to 50 watts for like. An average, I would say. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, I'll have to... I guess we can try unplugging it and see if it still runs. That's, some, that's something. Okay. So, all right. It says it has full battery. So we can actually test out. How long did it say... I said 164 minutes on load time, and that's a pretty low wattage usage. So I'm gonna test that theory. I'm gonna set a little timer, or a stopwatch, I guess. All right, turning off the power right now. Hey, I've got no power coming to this and it's running my PC. It says 128, what did this say? 164, well that's a little less. Maybe it's just not fully charged. The battery says it's fully charged, but maybe it's not quite. 
we'll get a, a general idea. And the number's going up, that's weird. 143 minutes. So it's probably like trying to guess, like based on what it's doing, what it's drawing. But yeah, 163 minutes, that's a long time. That's like, that's a couple hours, right? Uh, 60, that's, that's like two and a half hours. So I guess uh, I'll get back to you in two and a half hours and have to listen to that beeping noise. That's, I think you can turn that off though. You know if it's off. Hmm. Oh, there. There you go. Oh, you gotta hold it. Now it's off. It has a little cross to the sound. I don't want to hear that beeping all day. But you might want that on so you know that the power went out. I guess you would know though. I don't know why you need a beep. You're gonna know when the lights go out that you don't have power. All right, I got a timer going. I will get back to you in a couple hours. All right, it just shut off at two hours and 13 minutes. Um, so, let's see. Now it's beeping, the computer shut off. So yeah, that's about it for how long it takes. Um, yeah, but that was, not fully, I don't know if that was fully charged or not. That was uh, the power it had from out of the box. So out of the box, it was two hours and 14 minutes, which is pretty dang good. It hadn't been charging at all. So I assume it would get a little bit more um, length if uh, it actually been plugged in and charging for a while, but uh, I think it was a good test. I mean, two hours without power, you're lucky to have anything at all. So, um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. All right, I've been using that UPS for about three months now, and it's been working really great. Uh, I think about two or three weeks after getting it, uh, we had a severe uh, storm out, and it caused the power to go out probably about 100 times in the middle of the night. It was just on, off, on, off, on, off. And uh, that might have destroyed my computer. Uh, but luckily I had my server connected to it. I had my PC connected to it. I also had a router connected to it and uh, three monitors. So, and never once did I lose power to any of those things. Uh, it would click on, click off, click on, click off. And it did that all night and it still is working today several months later uh, there's been a few times i've lost power since then and it still just keeps going i'm getting 24 hour power to my server and pc so it's working really great i love it and uh i end up getting a smaller one um it's the same brand because why not uh it's it was like half the price i don't know i'll put a link up or uh, i'll put something up and um yeah, I use that for my Wi-Fi router uh, downstairs and it keeps Wi-Fi going even if the power's out. So my server is, you know, up 24 hours a day now. So that's really great. And I've ha I have come home a couple times to my server being off, but it had nothing to do with power fluctuations. I, ha I think it had to do with an update that happened uh, because I didn't shut off automatic updates. But um, yeah, it's been working really great. Um, I'd totally recommend it and uh yeah thanks for watching this video uh if you like it like it and uh, if you have a comment or anything to ask or if you want to correct me on something um go ahead put it in the comments uh y'all have a great day